Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I got a very interesting problem from one of my subscribers from India and here is the problem. If vestigial winged female Drosophila heterozygous for grey body is crossed to an ebony male heterozygous for long wing, the possible phenotypic ratio is and you have to choose the correct answer. So how we are going to solve this problem? But first of all, I want you to try to solve this problem on your oven first. You can pause video and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So let's analyze the problem. Uh, vestigial winged female. And uh, you know that about maybe 99% of all genetic disorders are recessive uh, by its nature. So we know that uh, female for the first trait have to be homozygous recessive. So this is going to be female side. And um, we told that uh, this female is heterozygous for gray body. So let's say that second trait uh, would be G and B. So this female going to be capital B, small b, going to be heterozygous and uh, that means that uh, gray color is uh, dominant. So phenotype is gray and we know that she is heterozygous. So gray color is dominant allele and dominant trait. And we cross with uh, male. So this is a male side. And what we know about uh, male? Male color is ebony. And could it be dominant, caused by dominant allele? No, because we know gray color is caused by dominant allele. So uh, the genotype would be small b, small b for a color. And we know that uh, this male is heterozygous for long wing. And long wings are a normal size of the wings of the Drosophila male. So uh, genotype would be capital A and small a. So now we know genotypes of both females and male. Now let's take a look what female gametes can produce. And basically she can produce two variants of the gametes small a and capital B. So small a and capital B, one variant. And second variant would be small a and small b. Small a and small b. And uh, if you'll take, for example, this allele, again, we are going to get the same small a capital B, small a, small b. So we don't need to list it. and now let's analyze what kind of gametes male can produce. Take a look. The first variant would be capital A and small b, capital A and small b, and second variant would be small a and small b. So this is going to be a second variant of the gametes that male can produce. Now let's build simple Punnett square. And let's find all the probable genotypes and phenotypes in a such a cross. So capital A, small a here, capital B, small b here, capital A, small a here, and small b, small b here. Small a, small a here, capital B, small b and small a, small a here, and small b, small b. Now let's analyze uh, genotypes and phenotypes that we see here. For example, this insect would have long wings and would have a gray body. This genotype tells us that these insects are going to have long wings and ebony color. So this is different phenotype. So let's circle with different color. 
Now let's take a look at this genotype and phenotype. Two recessive alleles mean that uh, these insects are going to have vestigial wings and gray body color. So let's use another color because this is going to be a unique phenotype. And as for these insects, they are going to have vestigial wings and also going to have ebony body color. So this is also distinctive phenotype which is different from all the rest. So as you see, the ratio is going to be 1 to 1 to 1 and to 1. In the progeny, we are going to see four different phenotypes and the ratio is going to be 1 to 1 to 1 and to 1. So each phenotype would be represented in equal amounts in the progeny and that means that the correct answer is answer C. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.